Hey guys, it's Dark Recycle on FPV, and right now I'm getting ready to do a video on setting up the Free Sky. Let me show you what we're working with, actually. We'll do this like this. So we've got a uh, Free Sky. This is the X9 Lite uh, that runs Access, okay? As you can see, it runs the Access operating system or the, the firmware and protocol. And we have an Apis MQ60 that runs the ACCST protocol. And so for a lot of you guys that are getting the packages like this, uh, from us, for example, we're gonna show you guys how to set it up from scratch, okay? Now there's a couple things you're gonna need. There are a couple things you don't have to have, but you're gonna find in this video. If you don't have them, then you might be a little lost. So please make sure to just understand you're gonna need a couple things, right? Uh, I would recommend. First is, let me turn this around. You're gonna need two 18650 batteries. You might already have them, and if you do, just make sure they're charged, please. The second thing you're gonna need that we would recommend that you have, but you don't, you may not have it handy. And I'll show you right here is I'm gonna grab this. You're gonna need a memory card. You're gonna need an SD card like this one, okay? So you're really only gonna need one that has eight to 16 gigs, nothing more than that. But if you can't find one that is small enough, like an eight gig or 16 gig, you can get a bigger one. And I'm gonna show you how to size it down so it can be read in this radio, okay? So you'll need the memory card, uh, you'll need your APIS, but we can go over that in a second. The main thing is we want to get your radio set up first so that it can work with the APIS if you guys are going to be flying one of those, all right? And we know we have a lot of students that are doing that, so this video is really intended to help you guys out as well, okay? So here's what we're going to do first. The, the, the memory stick is going to be something that we're going to want to use uh, so that we can um, store some of our files on here and we can have sound working from the radio. But before we even get to that, we're just going to go over the radio itself. Now, if you've taken the radio out already and you've opened up the back here, you're going to notice that it takes two 18650 batteries. I'm going to take these out so I can discuss them with you real quickly. Okay, so the 18650 battery is a lithium ion battery, whereas your um, drones are usually, usually going to run lipo batteries or lithium polymer batteries. These batteries can go pretty low before and they won't get damaged, whereas lithium polymer, if you take it below, let's say 3 volts or 3.3 volts, probably not going to get them to come back. So these are pretty good batteries right here, all right? So the way it goes in your radio is you're going to put your ground on this side, your negative on this side, your positive here, and then again, negative and positive. And the way, the easiest way to insert these is to take the battery, slide one side in all the way that way with your positive up here and your minus or ground back here, and then put the other one in, this time slide that one in, uh, to the spring on this side and if you do that they'll pop in perfectly together all right close that latch up and then flip your radio over and what you're going to do when you turn this on you're just going to hold the power button down you're going to see progressing dots right here ready watch all right now because we don't have an sd card inside here you don't hear it say welcome to open tx there's some greetings on here that are normally on here but you have to have the sd card loaded okay so let's look at this Right now we have a fail-safe warning, which is standard. Now fail-safe is what we use. Basically, it's what we tell the remote to do uh, if the remote and the drone lose contact with each other, okay? Uh, there's a fail-safe on the radio, there's a fail-safe on the drone, and we can tell it which one we want it to use, all right? Since we don't have one set, by default, it's gonna error and give us this message when we turn it on. All you have to do is hit exit, and you're gonna be down to your main screen, and the first model on here is gonna be model one. Let me show you what happens if you have some other errors that are common, okay? So let's turn this off. And to turn it off, you're just gonna hold it down for like a five count. You'll see all those dots disappear and then a face with a bunch of Z's like it's sleeping. All right, so let's just say we have a switch here and our throttle is up. Now this is our throttle right here, right? And then we have a switch, let's say switch, I think this may be SA. So let's say we have SA and SC down, okay? Which stands for switch A, switch C. Now we're gonna turn it on, watch the dots, okay? All right, now what's gonna happen is we're gonna see more errors, okay? So once it gets past the screen, it's gonna say throttle warning. Throttle is not idle. So the first thing we wanna do is bring the stick down. Once we do that, that warning goes away. Now we have SA and SC warnings. That means our switchers are not in the, basically the off position, I guess is what you would call it. So flip them up. Once you do that, it disappears. You'll still have your fail safe warning, but all the other warnings you've taken care of. Hit exit, you're back at your model one, all right? Now, one of the things that we wanna do here is we wanna update the radio. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a micro USB cable, something that looks like this right here. It looks like if you have an Android phone, it's like the kind of thing that charges an Android phone or like a lot of other USB devices. The only difference is you need the data cable, not just the charger. If all you have is a charging cable, it won't work because you need to send data to the radio. Now, that being said, take, take some time to go get one if you can. If you don't have one, please go get one because you'll need to update the radio. Let me show you on the bottom, and I don't mind these two right here, but what does matter to me are these three. The first one is your micro USB slot. This is what you're going to use to plug your radio into your computer. The second one is your SD card. Now, let me just check real quickly. I think it goes with the, with the label down, I believe, yeah. So you have your SD card right here, and it's gonna go upside down, basically, to where the label of the SD card is gonna go upside down and slide inside the radio. When it slides in there, it's gonna make a click, and it's done. Now, I'm gonna take it out, because I, I haven't 
set it up yet, so let me take that and lay it down. The third one here is gonna be your update cable. An update cable looks something like this right here. For this video, we're not gonna worry about that too much, but this is what you're gonna be looking for. This actually came, comes with an RXSR receiver, which you don't have to worry about right now, but as you can see, that pops right in there. And then you can plug this into your receiver and then you can update the software on it, all right? For right now, though, our two main pieces of focus are gonna be on the micro USB, which you need to get, and the SD card, which I recommend you have. This video and this video series is gonna cover this radio with a micro SD card, all right? So with that said, now we're five, almost six minutes into this video. That's pretty much understanding your radio from this side. What we're gonna do next is, we're gonna walk you through how to set it up with your software, okay? So I'll be right back in just a minute with that. If you'll just get your computer ready, make sure you have your high-speed internet on. You don't need to have your radio on at this point, so you can go ahead and just hold the button down, wait for the dots to disappear, wait for the sleepy guy face, there you go, let go and you're done. You can set that aside, and we're gonna get going to the computer, so I'll be back in just one second, and we'll watch that, okay? Take care, guys, and if you do have time, please, as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love the support, and a lot of this work goes to help the students here locally and any other students that are working with our drone program uh, in other schools, all right? And if you have any questions, you can always go to our Facebook page. It'll be facebook.com forward slash Cyclone FBV, and you can always find us and ask questions there as well. All right, guys, we'll see you shortly, so uh, just hang tight.